Hello everyone, welcome back for today's video tutorial. I'm gonna have a look over a new sensor that is ABS triple one five, and to get have a better view over this sensor, what we're gonna do is to log in to the website that is controleverything.com, and here we have to search on for this particular sensor, and let's see what we got for this particular sensor. And we got it's a sixteen bit four channel precision analog to digital converter, and you can see. These are some more features which you can add for this particular sensor. Now you can also add to cart. You can purchase this sensor from this website from here. Well, I will be interfacing the sensor ADS-115 with a Raspberry Pi and a Java code and to get the hands-on Java code, uh, let's click over resource tab and here comes the Java code sample. Now you can download the Java code sample from here. As a file, as you can see, and also you can have the code from github.com and you can get the code from the repository that is control everything community from github.com. After that, uh, what do we require is to have a look over the hardware connections we need to put together for this video tutorial? Well, in the hardware setup uh, for the connections, what do we require is this uh, Raspberry Pi, which you are able to see on my screen, and these are the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Next, we require an I2C shield which you can see and it's available on the website controleverything.com. The real reason we are using this shield is to make easier connections with other I2C devices. So for that, gently place the I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi and make a connection. Next, we need to power up our Raspberry Pi and for that we require a micro USB cable just like that and gently insert it over here, the power jack. And for the internet connection, there are two options. First of all, this here is an Ethernet cable or a LAN cable. Now gently insert it over this Ethernet jack and you are done with the connections part. Now for the other internet connection, we can also have a adapter, a wireless nano USB adapter, just like that. And you can have on the USB port. Now what do we require is our sensor that is ABS-1115 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same rule has to be applied to the I2C sheet. So we are done with all the connections we need. Now what do we require is to have a look over the code and let's interface. For the interfacing part, uh, first of all we have to log into github.com and after that we have to search on for the repository that is control everything community and then here comes uh, the searching for the sensor that is ABS triple one five and here we are with the Java code but let's have a look over the instructions first as you can see we have to download and install pi 4 j library on the Raspberry Pi and the steps are on this link that is pi 4 jcom let's open it up and see what we got here and here are some of the relevant uh, instructions are here, commands are here to install this. So please do it carefully. And after that, uh, download it and pull the code on the Pi Raspberry Pi. And after that, we have to compile the Java code. And this is the command to compile it. And this is to run the code. Please note it down carefully. Now get back to the Java code. As you can see, it's a dot Java extension file. Then we have the code in front of you, and we have. In the code, first of all, imported some of the libraries which you are able to see, and we have created a class named ABS Triple One Five. Then we have to check for the device, and it is bus dot get device field, which will check the address of the sensor that is COX for it. Then we are going to send some commands. As you can see, first of all, we have a command which will have the selection of configuration register, and it is 0x01 as you can see on my screen and after that we have to send the command which is for positive end that is AIN0 end and negative end that is AIN1 end. We have the range of voltage to be supplied that is plus minus 2.048 volt. We have continuous conversion mode 128 SPS and it comprises of the command for 0x84 and 0x83 which is a 16 bit command we are going to send for the configuration register writing. And here comes the writing part and then we have a delay. After that we are going to read two bytes of data back from the register that is 0x00 and it is raw ADC MSP 
and LSP. And then after reading the part, we have the conversion of the data, which is here. As you can see, we have applied some of the guidelines and the data formulas from the data sheet of ADS 115. At the very bottom of our code, we have the output data to be displayed onto the screen, which is the digital value of analog input, which exactly is the raw value. So this is how the code looks like of the Java for the sensor EDS triple one five. Now let's have a look over the working. Now this is very interesting part that we have to check for the practicality of this code and the sensor. And for that we have to copy this entire code as you can see on my screen. And we have to open up the terminal of the Raspberry Pi using an internet connection. And we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen. It's dot Java extension file and here we have to paste the entire code and then we have to save it. After that, uh, this is the command for the compilation process as you can notice on my screen. And here we go. The code has been compiled successfully. After that, we have to check for the practicality and this is the command to run the code. And as you can see, we have the digital value of analog input. It's coming zero, which means there is nothing connected among the terminal one and terminal zero. But instead, when I try to connect it with a double battery of 1.5 source voltage and run the command right now you can notice we have digital value of analog input it's coming in the range of 14600 and 590s or 80s and this really is not a much big change as you can notice it means the battery is connected right now it's almost constant and this is how the sensor responds it works in this particular way now the next step the motive is to have a look over the benefits features and the applications of this sensor. The ADS-115 is a precision analog to digital converter with 16 bit of resolution offered and is designed with precision, power and ease of implementation in mind. The ADS-115 feature an onboard reference and oscillator. Data are transferred via an I2C compatible serial interface for I2C slave addresses can be selected. Due to these prominent features, it is uh, useful in a lot of applications like portable instrumentation, consumer goods, battery monitoring, factory automation and process controls and a lot more. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com. And to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.